Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Bass Monk, California Delta 2021. We're right at the end of January, going into February. That first week of t-shirt weather is when I like to get out here and this place will really be coming alive. This video, I want to go ahead and give you guys some boater safety stuff, some tips and tricks that I use no matter if I break down on the water or I break down on the way to the water. I got everything covered. I want to share that with you and hopefully by the end of the video, this will help somebody out. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to want to have, the most important thing you have to have on this river, when all else fails, the trolling motor shorts out, the big motor goes down, you're at the mercy of the wind and the current on this river. Right now, it looks nice and calm, but you guys know it could get rocking and rolling. So besides the life jackets, the insurance, the whistle, the horn, the throw cushion, all the stuff that you have to have in the boat, the number one thing you're gonna need is a good anchor. You don't have that, nobody's around, you break down, it'll be a straight bad day. Make sure you guys have a great anchor. All right guys, now that we got the anchor in the boat, the next thing that you're gonna wanna have in this boat is a subscription to Boat US. Well, what is Boat US? Vessel assist, the number's right there, 1-800-391-4869. 24-hour towing on the water, and I've been towed. I've broken a fuel line. Had to get towed in, and we're gonna talk a little bit about Boat US. This is for the kayaker guys too, so you're gonna wanna hear me out. All right, guys, this Boat US is good for the California Delta. Unlimited tows if you're stranded. You get unlimited tows for the $105 a year. Plus, you're going to get 100 miles of to um, towing for your tow vehicle and your trailer if you break down on the way to the Delta. They'll trailer all that stuff unlimited up to 100 miles. So that's a great thing. Also, you can just buy the tow package for $40. Say you don't fish the Delta. $40 unlimited tow, 100 miles for the tow vehicle and the trailer. For the kayak guys, if you trailer your kayak, you have a motor on it, you have a CF number, it's considered a boat. This applies to you as well. So... You don't have this, you're gonna spend $350 an hour, so it's gonna end up costing you about $1,000. They charge you from the time they leave their port, they hook up with you, they drop you back off at your launch, and then they go back to their port. So it comes out to about a little over $1,000. I've been towed before. I always have my vessel assist and boat US. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to get to them. All right, guys, now that we broke down in the water, we got our tow from Vessel Assist. We're on the way back in. Everything's all good. I want to show you a couple little things that I keep, a couple little tools I keep in the boat at all times in case something little small happens in the boat. All right, guys, the next little thing I like to have in the boat, a couple little tools, some duct tape, vice grips, flathead, Phillips, little crescent. Just in case something pops loose and I can fix it real quick, I'd like to keep that in the boat as well. All right, guys. Now we talked about what happens on the water when things go wrong. I'm going to talk right now about what I keep in my tow vehicle. So the first thing I keep is a tool bag. Whenever I'm trailering this boat, I keep the tool bag. Sometimes the bunks fall over, the rollers get loose. Anything can happen right there on the way. So I always have a little tool bag on me. All 
All right, guys. Also, my tow vehicle, I always keep a spare tire, tire iron, 4x4. Four four. We'll talk about that in a minute. And a 310 floor jack. I get a flat tire. I have all this on hand. It's taken care of. All right, guys, you're going to want to have a four by four on you, a little, a little piece. Um, sometimes under here, when your leaf spring will snap, your boat will go straight down your axle. You can actually wedge this in between your boat frame and the top of your axle. And the bolts will bite in right here. And you should be able to get home on, limp this boat home. So keep you a little piece of 4x4 it's a lifesaver all right guys another thing you want to keep on hand is a little zerk gun to fill up your hubs you go to the gas station in the morning fill your hubs if they're warm pop this clip and give it a little shot of grease if they're cool to the touch you're good to go all right guys i also keep a little nice can of hydraulic oil and a flathead so I can fill up my trim and tilt if the oil gets low you got your little tab right there you open it up put your little oil in there that way you're always good to go on that all right guys that's basically it that's what I keep in the vehicle that's what I do on the water so when problems arise I'm ready for them the last thing I would say let somebody know where you're going fishing make sure your phone's charged in case you have to make that call hopefully this helps somebody out if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe and until next time bass monkey I'm gone